Hey guys, this is Leo with Scott Lori Marketing, and in today's tip video, I'm going to talk about DocuSign showing a sample watermark on some of your forms and how to get rid of that. Um, this is a newer update uh, that KWRI, KWRI announced maybe about a month ago that it will actually show sample on the forms even when it's brought into your DocuSign room until you have actually edited and saved the form, and then it will remove the word sample. All right, and this, uh, I believe this was adjusted because of some of the board's agreements with DocuSign and their forms. Um, so let me kind of show you how you would get rid of the word sample. So first of all, you can't always view all of your documents under my docs in DocuSign. So I'm logged in to realestate.docusign.com, just a heads up. So again, that's realestate.docusign.com specifically to access the KW DocuSign room section. And just a heads up, you can view your docs under this My Docs tab on the very top white toolbar. You can click on My Docs and click on Forms. However, typically you'll see sample on all of these forms here on the preview. Um, viewing your forms like this are just helpful under My Docs and again Forms on the toolbar under that. Um, it's, it's helpful to view your forms here because you can see a preview of the form. However, you cannot edit any of these forms. Right? You would have to actually pull that into your DocuSign room in order to have access to edit and send for electronic signature. Right? And my forms actually don't show sample just because it's specific to your, uh, your board and their you know, agreement with forms. Um, so just a heads up, if you are seeing sample here on all your forms, that is normal, okay, depending on your board's agreement with your forms. All right, and you will just need to pull that into your DocuSign room to pull off the word sample and actually edit and send free signature. And I'll show you how to do that. All right, so to pull the form into your DocuSign room, we do need to go to the Rooms tab of your DocuSign account. It's on the very top white toolbar here. Of course, you can see your top five most recent used rooms under your dashboard as well. So either one, either your dashboard or your rooms, you can search to find the room you're looking for and go ahead and click on that to open it. All right, so feel free to pause the video if you need to navigate to locate your DocuSign room, that's totally fine. All right, but we are going to the DocuSign room and clicking on the Documents tab. All right, so with this new update with the sample watermark, I am seeing a lot of the forms, even once they're brought into your DocuSign room, showing the word sample. All right, and that's a newer thing, so it's definitely throwing people off. I don't blame you at all. Um, so the documents, how we get those in there in general, right? We can click on the Add option on the very top right and add our DocuSign forms by clicking on that DocuSign forms option to go ahead and add in our forms. So again, if you're needing to add forms to your DocuSign room, I will include a tip video below that shows you how to access your forms in case your forms aren't in DocuSign and how to pull that in for signature. Okay, but in general, we click on Add on the top right, select DocuSign Forms from the dropdown, and that will take you on over to your libraries here so we can go ahead and click the checkbox on the left of any of the form names we wanna pull in and click Add Selected. And I know that was a super quick overview on how to access your forms and pull those into the room. But again, if you need a, a slower tutorial or it's saying no access to some of your forms, I, I will include a video below that will show you how to get access to all your forms. You typically just need to add your nerds ID to DocuSign. And that, that video in the description will walk you through that. All right, so again, to add any forms, we can simply click on the libraries or the groups on the left-hand side. You can use the search bar to search for the form name and check the forms that you want to go ahead and pull in. And again, even doing this, I am seeing that the word sample, that watermark, is showing on a lot of forms. Okay, so how we get rid of that is we're just simply going to open up the form. So let's say you're seeing sample on there, even though you've brought it into your room. Okay, here, here's the catch. I'll go ahead and open the form, and I need to make some sort of edit to it, and then save it in order to remove the word sample. So if the form is completely blank, it will show the word sample, okay? So if you do not edit this form at all and try and pull it into an envelope, 
it will continue to show the word sample. All right, so somewhere on the form, you do need to make an edit of some sort. So go ahead and fill in, you know, scroll down, fill in the form to whatever capacity. All right, but this is the big, big catch here as well. All right, once you fill in the form, you need to click on Save and Close, this yellow button here, to save those new changes, those new edits, to actually remove the word sample. So at that time, now that I have saved and closed it on the top right with that yellow button, I can go ahead and click on the form to reopen it, and I will not see the word sample. And right, so again, if it is showing the word sample, it's typically because it has not been edited. Right, the form has to be filled in to some capacity. Uh, literally, I just tried it on another form and clicked a space to add a space, and then I clicked on save and close, and I think that's the step that a lot of you are missing. Save and close, and then when you pull the form back up, Right, it will remove the word sample. So in case you are, you know, editing the form, we do not want to go ahead and click on create the envelope until after you have clicked save and close. So once you click save and close and pull the form back up, you can then create the envelope to send for electron electronic signatures by clicking on the document actions on the top right and clicking create envelope. That will pull the form into your envelope so you can add recipients and send that out for electronic signatures. And again, if you're needing directions on how to do that part of it, the video and the YouTube description will show you that perfectly. However, make sure you're not clicking to create an envelope until after you have clicked save and close. So we edited, click save and close, pull the form back up to come to the document actions to create the envelope so that it saves your changes and pulls those into the envelope and removes the word sample. So if you click create an envelope and it keeps the word sample on the form, that's because you didn't click save and close first and it's showing as a blank form. All right, so if I were to click on next, the form would be blank. All right, and that would indicate to me that's why I would be seeing sample if the form is blank and doesn't have any information saved on it. It will not remove that word sample, all right? But as long as you edit it and save it, that should remove the sample watermark right away. If you have any questions on that, please do not hesitate to reach out, support at scottleroymarketing.com. Hope this helped. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care, guys.